Look what I got. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to Montag at the Lake. Guess how many's here? If you can guess how many's here, I'll send you happy mail. Be sort of like Janet's door prize. Guess how many is in this stack? There's some you can't see, so you just have to guess how many composition books I bought yesterday. Yes, it is that time of year again. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Back to school session. Yes, indeed. Kids are going back to school. Back to school supplies are out and on sale. These were half price. Why pay full price when you can pay half price? You know you're going to use them. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how and why you're going to use them. So go stock up. As soon as we're done, you're going to want them anyway. It makes no sense to spend full price when you can spend half the price. And so I made a, a Walmart grocery order because I still really don't like to go into places. But I forgot one thing. And so I had to go into the store. And of course, the one thing I had to get was way in the back corner. And I had to walk through the school supply section. I had already ordered several on my walmart order but when i saw them all sitting there with 50 cents marked on them it's like garage sale 50 cents okay sure i'll take some more yes i will take some more back to the guessing game you put your guesses and i won't tell you how many in this video uh, at the end of the week i will look at all the comments and whoever put it in Number one, whoever put it in right. Let's just say there's one person, I'll send a little happy mail out. If there's more than one person, I'll do a random picker or I'll send a couple happy mails out or whatever. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Throw in a guess in the comments below. I've got a pile of composition books, but I also have a plan. Go figure. I have an idea. Ho oh, ho, who's surprised? But I also have a little bit of a, a back to school haul for you because as I said, I had to go into Walmart for one item. And I have no self-control when it comes to office supplies and school supplies. I have more pens than hell would have. But I bought some new pens. We'll go through all that. I also needed some tape for a while after COVID or around COVID. Just plain old magic scotch tape, transparent kind. This was like 10 bucks for a really long time. And now it's down to a manageable about four dollars and so i got one this will probably last at least a year i don't use it that much but sure is nice to have it when you need it i'm just gonna go at random pull this stuff out of the bag crayolas were 50 cents again it's kind of like a garage sale but you get brand new stuff for two quarters you get a box of crayons and my mom had asked me do you have any crayons I think she was wanting Crayola pens, which I did have and I gave to her. But since these were on sale, I got mom a pack and me a pack. I don't intend necessarily to color with them. I, I want to play. I have this handy dandy little bee stamp wax seal stamp that I want to play with. And these are wax. So I can cut these up into little pieces and melt them with a tea light and a spoon and play with my bee stamp and see what I can just see what I can do I saw on a video and it was a short I don't think I'll be I probably won't ever be able to find it because I usually delete the shorts from my watch history because I don't want them feeding me shorts if I can find it I'll tell you and I apologize if this is you let me know in the comments below but somebody was doing stamping and they had a tip that you put this on an ice pack while you're melting your wax and then when you when you're ready to stamp it you let the wax cool a little bit when you're ready to stamp it you kind of take this off the cool pack just a little ice pack so that th this is nice and cool going into that melted hot wax and you kind of roll it a little bit from either side to side or front to back to get a nice round rim and a good impression let it set for just a second and then you peel it off and you have a nice clean impression it was beautiful it was it made a lot of sense i wasn't planning on sharing that or i would have saved that video because you know credit where credit is due I'll see if I can find it. And if not, humblest apologize. Humblest apologies if I can. These I stock up on. I use a lot of these uh, 7 and 5 millimeter. My regular writing pencil is 5. 
5.5 but a lot of the pencils I have around the house including some of my mechanicals are 7 so I stock up on these again I know I'm going to use them I know I'm going to need them I might as well get them while they're on sale during back to school I also like to make my own homemade Mod Podge which has no sheen to it because even the matte Mod Podge store bought has a shine to it once it's dry oh I made I thrifted some glue once from a St. Vinny's haul, and I made my own homemade Mod Podge. The recipe is on my Patreon page for free. I love it. I will never go back to using regular. N not only is it a lot less expensive because you use a lot of regular school glue, the recipe does call for regular Mod Podge, but you just put a little bit in it because that has a, a sealer in it that the glues don't have. Anyway, the, again, the recipe is on my Patreon page. The link to my Patreon page is always in the description. Uh, so I stock up on this. I think these were 50 cents a piece too. After back to school, these will be a quarter. So I only got two because I know I'll go back after school starts and they put all this stuff on sale. These will be a quarter a piece. So I stock up for the year's worth of Mod Podge making. Because unofficially, I have not, I'm not thrifting anymore. I'm, I'm purging this room, purging the stuff, getting rid of a lot of stuff. So I'm not buying junk journal supplies anymore. I have enough for 78 people, but I do need stuff that you use, glues, Mod Podge, composition books, etc. things that I fill up and use a lot. I have not put a moratorium on that obviously. I absolutely love these pens. These are my very favorite writing pens. And last year, I believe it was last year, it might even been the year before these, I found a 24 or 32 pack of just black. It was a $34 price tag on it and it was on the clearance section at Walmart for 10 bucks. I mean, they don't get any cheaper. These are usually about $2 a piece. So there's 10 in here. This would have been, it would have been $20. I got it for six, I think, or six fifty. Again, I've been putting off buying it. I'm down to literally my last two or three, which makes me very nervous. As I said, I use them every single day, but I I can put it off and put it off, put it off because I, I know that I can get them cheaper. So back to school session, six, six or six fifty for ten, which makes them less than a dollar a piece. That's a really, really good deal for these. They are paper mate inkjoy gel, medium point. That's a, uh, I think it's a point oh seven gel. Fantastic. Can't recommend them high enough. Oh, there. I did get point oh five. I'm not low on these, but I never ever want to run out, so got them on sale. Need these at all, but aren't they yummy? Giant paper clips. I figure they'd make great bookmarks. I think they'd, they'd work great in a lot of different projects. I can see using these a lot, and they were I don't know, 97 cents or maybe a dollar 97 for these giant ones. I don't even know what their regular price is. Maybe that was the regular price. I may go back and get some more. I love the colors. I love the bright colors. Purple, teal, yellow, orange, red, light blue, dark blue, light green, dark green, and a magenta. Very, very fun. There's 10 in here for a couple of dollars. And the joy that that couple of dollars is going to bring me. I just can't even tell you. So that is the end of my little back to school haul. I'll probably have another one after school starts to uh, get some of these things even cheaper. I'd love to find another pack of pens on the clearance rack for next to nothing. That would be awesome. I want to get more of this for a quarter. Sometimes the composition books are 25 cents, though I don't know why. <laughs> you're going to sell them again next year and all year round. Why would you sell it? Why would you clearance them unless you don't have the room to store them? But it's Walmart. They have storage. So I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping to get these for a quarter and I will buy some more because I use the bejesus out of these. So here's my plan for the composition book. And I hope that you will like, want to play along. I'm starting a new open collaboration which means you are welcome as a content creator 
to play along using my hashtag. I'll put it up on the screen. Hashtag comp book love, composition book love. In keeping with the, it's the most wonderful time of the year theme, I'm going to do a 12 days of comp book series, meaning I have ideas for 12 different ways that you can use comp books. Of course, there are 12,000 different ways you can use composition books, but I'm going to start with 12. And over the next several days, it won't be 12 days in a row. It'll be 12 days, not 12 weeks. Uh, but I, I'm going to do a different composition book use idea with several offshoots each day for 12 days, not in a row. And there may be th other things in between, but that's the plan. So if you notice that composition books are on sale right now for 50 cents at Walmart, make sure I also went, sh went through each one of these in the store and flipped through them because they changed who makes them, I believe, because all my, well, maybe they went back to the old ones. All the ones that I've had over the course of the last several years are rounded like this, and I bought some a few weeks ago, and they're square. This is square, squared right off, and the ones I bought a few weeks ago, while they are sewn, there's a lot of wrinkles in the pages, a lot of blemishes on the pages, which irritates the crap out of me when I'm trying to write and there's a crinkle in the page. I don't mind it if I'm gluing stuff over it or whatever, it's a glue book. But when I'm writing, which is primarily what I use these for, I want a clean, smooth surface to write on. And so I went through each and every one of these to make sure that number one, because I've had this before, the tape stopped here, which is all right, you can tape it, but where the tape stopped, the sewing stopped. And so these pages would lift right out. So I went through each one, made sure they were sewn top to bottom and flipped through, because you can see the blemishes pretty easily to make sure that they didn't have any. So if you're gonna buy yourself a stack of comp books, I suggest you do that and, and try to see if they have round ones versus square ones, get the round ones because they're better made so that you can play along with me on my 12 days of comp book love. So stay tuned, throw your guess, tell me how many composition books you think I purchased. I'll tell you, I'll give you a hint, it's not 12 might be higher might be lower it's not 12. in the meantime you have a lovely lovely crafty day go love up those beastlies because you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring my ticket at the lake for now.